My Lords, I very much welcome the bill to the House, late as it may be. Uh, like Lord Storey, I know very little about the internet. I certainly know less about the sites that we're talking about tonight. <clears throat> but I do know they're destroying our young people, some of the sites, and they're certainly poisoning the minds of our young people. My Lords, Age Verification Safety for Children Online was forced to be at it back in 2016. <clears throat> it is remarkable that a child who was eight years old when this proposal was first put forward will be an adult when the protections that they deserve will finally be in place. Many children will be allowed to, will be allowed to live through their former years having been exposed to untold harm online. Potentially, a child who was eight in 2016 will be in the grips of addiction by the time age verification has made a legal requirement. This did not need to be the case. The harm suffered by many teenagers over the last seven or eight years could have been avoided. As Lord Dodds has indicated, if the government had only done what they were supposed to do and implemented age verification through Part 3 of the Digital Economy Act, children could have been protected. And my Lords, according to research by DCMS, 80% of children aged 6 to 12 have viewed something harmful online, while over 50% of teenagers believe that they have accessed illegal content online. We cannot allow children to continue to be let down. We need to ensure that robust age verification is in place. But more than that, we need to get it right. While well, this bill is a step in the right direction, I think there is a lot more work to be done. And I think this is an important bill, but it's also important for this House that we get the bill right. Firstly, we need to ensure that age verification and pornography sites will be brought in on this occasion. The government cannot be allowed to sidestep the issue. A clear commencement clause needs to be placed into the bill. Secondly, we need to ensure that age verification is in place, not just for children accessing pornography, but that the age of those acting in content is also verified. User-to-use pornography websites are simply a hotbed of illegal material and children survival sexual abuse that needs to be stopped in this bill. If it includes clear age verification for those involved in the content, will be a valuable tool in ensuring children are not exploited online. Thirdly, we need to move to protect women and girls from the effects of online pornography. Harmful pornography content promotes violence against women and girls. Evidence shows that excessive consumption of some legal pornography material can result in offenders viewing illegal child sexual abuse material. As increasingly extreme pornography becomes available on mainstream sites, the threshold of what is acceptable is very much lowered. My Lords, there is much to support in this legislation, but the bill offers an opportunity to ensure that we can protect women and children. And I look forward to working with others to ensure that we can deliver on these important protections. Yeah. <laughs>